Hi, this is Fred with Quality One. I'm going to show you a real simple file import. Uh, I'm going to click on File, go down to Import, and I already know what directory it is because I just did it. But if I look in my directory tree, I, I happen to put it in one logos, Pack West. Now I've also already selected that it was an AutoCAD file so I have a long list if you're importing anything you always tell it give it the best guess that you can in this case it's an AutoCAD DXF file click on import and typically on your computer it will go much much quicker than this I click on it and then click on import and then it'll bring up this backwards L. Now this is kind of an important area. This is not necessarily this way when you as default. Uh, inches is the scale. If you did your design in something other than inches, you can change it to millimeters. The other thing that's really nice is to close shapes and remove duplicates. Uh, usually there's a first and a second pass. Uh, if there's lines on top of lines, it'll remove duplicates. If you have a square shape that the endpoints don't touch, if the gap tolerance is within five thousandths, it will close it up. And usually I do not uncheck this. I leave it so that I look at this time and time again. And I'm going to click on OK starts doing the importing now one of the things that it's did an automatic replace of a font so I'm gonna say I want to view that detail and it was the font that you would use was this TTF Romans SHX font and I substituted my normal block you I can make that permanent or I can make it temporary I leave it temporary just in case there was a special font now this is what it imported and again my screen runs real slow when I run the two programs but you can view, zoom in and now this is all editable text so if I get my pointer tool oops, click away double click on the baseline here I can change this to a different font I can move it around I can uh, basically do anything to it. I can swipe through it and change it to upper and lower case. So if I come over here I can change it to all lower case, um, change it to all upper case or or whatever that I want it, want to do to it. Now it looks like let me just zoom out a little bit F6 F6. You can see that this plate size that you had was uh, 10 and a quarter by 19 so it's probably a, a rack mount size so I'm going to go under layout and go to plate size and I'm going to change it to a width of say 20 inches so 12 by 20 say OK then I can actually take this entire drawing put it, go and select it my upper left corner make this exactly zero so when I go to engrave it make that at zero that's the way it'll engrave now the only thing we didn't look at was the logo since I don't know exactly what the logo was supposed to look like possibly this is very close I don't know if this line was supposed to be connected or not if it was we we certainly can connect it we can double click here and I should be able to draw from here to here and connect it and then apply and then possibly this up here was supposed to be connected Oops. double click on this between here and here right mouse click and then this is is the closed shape and then apply and there's my logo and then just hit F8 to zoom to the plate and this should be ready ready for engraving